The German tech tree is one of the largest in all of War Thunder. The Germans started building aircraft at the very beginning of the 20th century, and their industry has a very rich and turbulent history. At one point, there was even a split into two major warring camps. Today, though, we are here to celebrate the best designs that Germany has to offer, the fastest, the most agile, and the most historically important aircraft. There are a few vehicles that compete for the title of the fastest German plane. The champion of the piston-engined generation is the DO-335 Pfeil Heavy Fighter. This bird can reach a speed of around 780 kilometers per hour at high altitudes, and it also has the distinction of being the only production twin-engine aircraft with a push-pull configuration. In other words, the Pfeil has two propellers, a rear pusher propeller and a forward-mounted tractor propeller. Then there were a few contenders with more modern engines. Thanks to its rocket boosters, the Messerschmitt ME-262 Heimaschutzer II can reach a speed of 1,030 kilometers per hour, even close to the ground. And if we discard rocket boosters, there's still a plane that can get really close to that. The Messerschmitt ME-163 Comet. As we've said, it has no boosters. Instead, it's equipped with a proper rocket engine. It's also the only rocket-powered fighter aircraft in history to reach production status, even though it was never produced in large numbers. If we move into the post-war era, then we could say the MiG-29 is the fastest aircraft in the German tech tree. But that would be cheating, as it's an export version of a Soviet plane. That's why we give the title to the Tornado. Yes, it was designed by joint efforts of several countries, but at least it has a lot of German DNA, metaphorically speaking. What about other records? The Horten HO-229 is the best German jet in terms of dogfighting capabilities. This kind of performance is possible thanks to its flying wing configuration, which has a high aerodynamic efficiency and allows this aircraft to be considerably more agile than other jets. Furthermore, the Horton HO-229 is simply unique. There is no aircraft quite like it, so using it in combat is always a special experience. Another big achievement was the creation of the Messerschmitt ME-264. It was a land-based, piston-engined strategic bomber with the longest range in history up to 15,000 kilometers. The ME-264 was developed as part of the America Bomber program. That's a very self-explanatory name, but in reality, the opposite happened. The prototypes of the aircraft were destroyed by Allied air raids, and then Germany suddenly had other concerns. Let's put it that way. Yet another aircraft that fully earned its place on the list is the venerable Henschel HS-123, a biplane veteran of the Luftwaffe. Germans started using this dive bomber as early as 1935, and it was in active service right up until their defeat in World War II. Yes, even in 1944, when the Allies achieved air superiority, this simple and robust aircraft soldiered on. It was already the 1950s when the humble biplane was finally retired by its last operator, the Spanish Air Force. Finally, we simply have to talk about achievements that everybody knows about, which doesn't make them any less impressive, by the way. In April of 1944, Germany started using the Messerschmitt ME-262, the world's first operational jet-powered fighter aircraft. And in July of the same year, Germany kicked off production of the Arado AR-234 Blitz, the first ever operational turbojet-powered bomber. The debut of those aircraft in the skies of Europe sent shockwaves through the industry and marked a significant milestone in aviation history. Honestly, in the German tech tree, there are a lot more vehicles that excel at something. For instance, no list would be complete without mentioning the biggest aircraft in War Thunder, the Blom & Voss BV-238 flying boat, or the Heinkel HE-100, which was uniquely equipped with a semi-retractable radiator below the wing. But most of those special vehicles were designed during World War II, or even before that. 
During the Cold War era, West Germany was mainly building American aircraft under license, and East German pilots used Soviet planes. Naturally, under those circumstances, there wasn't as much innovation in the industry as before. 